journals at treyerwilderness.com. I wanted to bring you on here today. I need to thank a good friend of mine, Jennifer Osuch. She sent me my first SCOBY so that I can make my kombucha tea, which is really good for your stomach and really uh, good for your system as well. Um, what you need is a, <laughs> a gallon jug and you put six tea bags in there. Green tea or black tea works well cup of sugar and um, you put boiling water in so it's like half full and then you add your SCOBY and it also has the fluids in here and the tea in here from her last batch so I will add that in here and then you put additional water to get it up to the rim and you put a coffee filter across the top and put a rubber band around it. I'm going to add the SCOBY and show you what it looks like um, and then what you do is you let it set and ferment for five days and then it also goes through a second ferment process but I would like to kind of uh, take you along on this and show you how things go so let me put the SCOBY in here and I'll be right back okay guys SCOBY is in the jar there you can see it at the top and all I need to do now is put this across the top and band it um, I did want to mention um, when you uh, when your water cools down to room temperature um, that's when you can remove the tea bags and um, that's when you add the SCOBY. You don't want to add the SCOBY to the boiling hot water and then you add um, the SCOBY and uh, the juices that it came with and fill the water up to the top of the jar and you're good to go. So this is going to sit for five days I'm going to uh, do another video and show you at that point um, how things look and and then continue to share with you what I'm going to do. And I'm going to share with you the different flavors I'm going to add. Um, I'd like to do a chia seed um, kombucha. So um, this will be ongoing and I'll continue to share with you. So till next video, you guys take care and God bless.